Live from Las Vegas, I'm Tom Fawn. And I'm Jonathan Fawn. And, and this, this is Magic Moments with, with the, the Fawn Brothers. Brothers. Oh, you're in for a special one today, yes, folks. Yes, we, uh, we are. Where are we? We're in Las Vegas, Nevada, part of our week in Las Vegas. <laughs> Go yeah, ahead. that's true. Who's Get our your guest? tickets in. That's um, <laughs> Kino. Tommy loves Kino. Uh, look, we're in Vegas with a bunch of our friends. Yes. And uh, uh, one of our best friends in the world, uh, Maria, is married to this guy who is a dear friend of ours as well. He is a wonderful actor. Uh, he's uh, an artist. He's a teacher. He's a photographer. And you're going to hear all about it. And here he is. But uh, oh, tell him. But we want him on the show because we're. Uh, I grew up a big Star Trek fan. I don't it know is. if Tommy was as big I a Star did, Trek I fan did, as I, I was. But uh, our buddy John Simpson. Simpson, who you're about to meet, John Simpson, played Sarek in Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, directed by William Shatner. Shatner. And here he is, John, John Simpson. Simpson. Uh, thank, you, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, boys. Thank you, boys. I'd like to thank the Fawn Brothers for having me on here, but before we proceed, I would like to ask the Fawn Brothers to both set their phones to stun. Yes. yes so that we will not yes. be interrupted, and the, and, and the home viewers yes. as well, please. Set it to stun, sir. Setting to stun. <laughs> We need another seven and seven. So, All right. John. So, yes. So, John. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Tommy has a question about Star Trek specifically. Why don't you ask him that question? Well, before we get into you and Star Trek V and the whole uh, 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 everything about it, I want to know, uh, were you a Star Trek fan at all before you were cast in the movie? You know, primarily growing up, watching Star Trek as a kid and as a young yeah. Growing teenager. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. My main uh, attraction to Star Trek yeah. were honestly for the hot Babelicious oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. were in Star Trek. You know, so that was my main <laughs> Star Lieutenant Trekness. Aura. Yeah, yes. Bar Barbara Luna yeah, oh on Mirror Mirror. Yes, That's my yes, favorite yes. one. But you know, the Joe. men and women, just the whole 60s yeah, look of yeah, that show. Gorgeous, it was wonderful. just so fantastic. Um, so, where'd you grow up? Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. And, and when did you want to be an actor? What, what made you want to be an actor? Uh, you know, early in high school, I, I took acting and drama. Right. I also took it in middle school. And then by my sophomore year in high school, I was like, this is what I do. want to do the rest of my life. I yeah. want to pretend like I'm other people. And, yeah. and, and also, I was mainly in comedic interp. So, and I, I took second in the state yes. and all that stuff. And that's and an actual so, category. Can yes, you absolutely. And, <laughs> uh, and I've been flunking that for years. I've been so, doing that today. I'm doing that. So that that was that was that was my future. And, right and that led you to actually both big Arizona schools. Yeah, I went to U of A as a musical theater major for a year, and then I Show transferred. Show tunes. Transferred. I transferred to uh, ASU and graduated there with a BFA in acting. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Fantastic. And so, that led you, like so many other actors across the country, to uh, Los Angeles, California, Hollywood. Right. Hooray and, for Hollywood. And uh, this led you to eventually audition. Now, how did the audition yeah. for the Let's movie, how did that come about? Well, first of all, I got the agent Ray Rappa. Ray Rappa. Ray Rappa. Quick in a backstory, Tom. Crazy coincidence. Ray yeah, Rappa, John Simpson's agent back yes. in the day, right. was in the Air Force with our dad. Yes. He was a singer in the jazz band, and our dad was a drummer. That right. is a crazy he Served during the Korean War together. Korean. So he was your agent, and, and he found, tell me how this he, went. He found me. He came and saw one of his clients in... Uh, Friends and Artists Theater Ensemble, I don't remember which show, and mm -hmm. then was like, uh, is that guy represented? And I was like, oh, who, what, your agent, what? And so that's how I got with him. Uh, Star Trek V, though. I mean, and then all major... of a sudden, uh, he said, you know, audition tomorrow at Paramount, you know, for some Star Trek something or another. And I'm like, great. So I went there, and I don't even remember if they had us a <laughs> script or anything. Right. Um, were, you I, were you nervous going I, to an audition? for? You knew it was Star Trek. Yeah, I knew it was Star Trek. Okay. So and I did went you there. read with, who did you read with? Well, like, the this is the yeah. first audition. Oh, so the first go. audition, here we go. Here we I go. get there and I walk in and I met with the casting director whose name escapes me. I want to say it's Bill. But um, anyways, uh, and I just went in and he looked at me and he just kind of talked to me a little bit. And I said, do you need me to say the two words? And he's like, no, we're good. And I left and thought, well. well wait, what are the two words? So human. So and human. The do, do, you all, do, do all you Trekkies and Trekkers? Uh, well, actually, I think what he's uh, pertaining to is the so human line from, yeah, basically yes. uh, spa, uh, a cyborg. Set it up for people who haven't seen it. Okay, so William Shatner, it's initially his story, I believe, and it's about the, <laughs> it, it's about the, like, kind of the effect of televangelists have on people who, you know, are easily... Cult-like. That's right, cult-like kind of stuff. So Cybok, who's a half-brother of Spock, 
he helps people um, see things about their life where there's pain in their life. Right. And so he gets it to Spock. Right. And he, a painful moment is when Spock is born and his father is holding him. Right. Holding the baby Spock. Holding the baby Spock right. and the, says... Who is half human and half Vulcan. Half human, half Vulcan. And, and he says, lean into the microphone. So human. Oh my God, that sounds just that like was you. Marvelous. All right, but, now, but you okay. know, now the original Sarek is Mark, Mark Leonard, Leonard, and you do look a little bit right. like Mark Leonard. And right? they did have have him come in and loop that line. Unfortunately, he looped your line. Yeah, I never knew that. I That's never knew that. They uh, did. Actually, I had never heard that before. They, okay. didn't, they didn't ask my permission. I don't know why. So. Now, now well. Star Trek at this time was very successful. Well, because you're coming off. Two big movies, and yeah. the biggest one, Star Trek. The, the whale the, uh, one was the one the before us. Right. The whale. Right. One, that, does that, everyone now, ask you? Does everyone ask you? Were you in the whale one? Do they yeah, ask? They, okay. they do. So you're Star Trek Five, directed by Shatner. So go ahead. Right. So wait. The audition? When, uh, I, uh, like so, so yeah. many people listening, uh, when does Shatner come into the picture? All yeah. right. Let, let him, let him so I did the original callback, or original audition, and so as you always do when you audition for something. You forget about it, and right, you go right. on with of your course, life. Because you, I'm never going to get that. Yeah, right, whatever. Right, mm-hmm. So then, leave week, it in the room. Finally, weeks later, Ray Rappa calls me and says, "John, you got an audition tomorrow uh, with William Shatner and Harv Bennett, the producer." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Okay, okay call great. Me. You got to call." So I'm like, "Great. You know, I get to meet William Shatner. He's going to producer. Great." Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I go there and I wait, and there's maybe another guy or a girl, or I don't know. I don't remember waiting in the wait, waiting room with me. And then, uh, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, uh, Bill Shatner walks in and goes, John, John, come on in, come on in. And I, <laughs> he leads me in there, and then Harv is standing there, and they're both Harv standing Bennett. there. Yeah, and they're both standing there, and they're kind of, they have their hands on their chins, and they're kind of mm-hmm. looking at me like they're looking at some sort of statue or something. And I'm just standing there looking at them, and I'm like, do you need me to, to say the words? And I'm like, no, 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 that's okay. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you so much for coming in. That was it. That was it. They your should learn on videotape or anything. Nothing. Yeah. They shook my hand. I went out the door. End of, end of, end of, and then again, forget, forget about, about it. it right? Of course. Forget I went about to producer, it. You go on it's done. With your life. I'm never going to get it. Bada bang. And then finally, two or three weeks later, or whatever they call and they say, hey, you know, the day before Thanksgiving, that's your day. Your call time is 4.30. You need to call this uh, guy who lives in the valley that's doing all the... Uh, the makeup prosthetics, the makeup prosthetics and, 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 and everything, and make an appointment with him. And I'm like, okay, so I make an appointment with him. I go over. He does these molds of my ears. <laughs> so like they're, they're putting right. like like spa the Vulcan yeah. ears. Yeah. Yeah. They put you on one side and they create this little pool there, and then they pour this stuff and they plug up your ear, hopefully, and then they do it on the other side and they have these two molds of your ear. <laughs> And then, um, and then I had another, you know, wardrobe fitting where right. I went in and they fit me with the beautiful, beautiful wardrobe that yeah. they had me. Are in. you telling everyone that you know that you're cast in the next Star Trek movie at this time? Um, or are you not? Are you being low key about it? Some actors. Well, no, it, actors, it, it was exciting. So no, I, 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 yeah. I don't really remember, but I probably did. Would have told everyone at the theater. Of course. Hey, I'm doing a Star Trek movie. Cool, isn't that yeah, cool? Yeah. Fantastic. So, uh, so then you know, basically, I go. You know, the morning of of the uh, the shooting, I get there at some ridiculous time. Right. I'm right near the the little water pool or whatever right. at Paramount right. Studios, Paramount Blue, Blue Sky, That's the right. Blue Sky right. thing. Right. Mm-hmm. And I have my own trailer, which is kind of cool. And um, it says John Simpson. Yeah. And then uh, and then they uh, <laughs> shave half my eyebrows off. Nice. You didn't uh, expect that. No. Oh, right. And then they they take me to hair and they they p- push all my hair down and they make it all wet. <laughs> and then they and they basically gave me the exact same cut that you would recognize because Jim Carrey has it in Dumb and Dumber. Okay. Oh, that <laughs> same know. kind it's, of It's bad like the regulation thing. Star Trek, right. Star Trek, whatever That's for right. whatever reason. It's a little yeah, bit yeah. of a Mo Howard as well. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so they so by putting pantyhose over my head and then taking that off and having my hair really flat, they give me that bull haircut. G <laughs> Kirk. And then and then Was they that build Larry up, Fine and, and then the they build up my. My eyebrows going straight up, you know, into that my whole Vulcan and you're going thing, the whole right. time. I'm just so happy to be paid. Yeah, this Keep is good. Yeah, this yeah. is cool. good stuff. I'm uh, gonna look like a freak on Thanksgiving, yeah. but and all right. you literally have two lines. Yes. Mm-hmm. So two so words. Human. So human. So so this is a six thirty seven in the morning, yeah. and then they put right. my ears on. They glue them all down, right. and they look perfect. Right. And then I, I just fart wait. around all day. Right. Right. You wait. Right. Yeah. So ready to shoot. What was the nice thing is if you watch the movie, my sequence is at the very end of. 
two or three interesting sequences, which is yeah, the, right, where uh, McCoy sees Doc his, McCoy. He so euthanizes his as father. I, as I recall, his, that was about where they started at the beginning of the day was shooting uh-huh. that scene. Mm-hmm. And then they shot the scene after that, or or the are scene you, right before that. Are you meeting uh-huh. anyone at this point? Are you? Just oh yeah, being no, I'm, I'm. No, no, no. I I am walking on and off the set. So oh, okay. I'm walking around. I go back in to see where they're at, you know. And then if if anyone that's shooting in that sequence around there is around, I'll I'll talk to them and say hi right. to them. And, right. and being not the biggest Star Trek fan, correct me if I'm wrong. You're not. Are you that? You're not that nervous. Are you seeing DeForest oh. Kelly and oh. James Doohan? Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. No, and I'm I'm not is, nervous. And at all. Was this, directing, right? Shatner's, Shatner's direct- directing. Yes. What, was this the first like? big on-camera project that you did? Feature film, absolutely. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and mm-hmm. so, Fantastic. and then, I, and I also got to wander on all the other sets yeah. that were there, yeah, yeah. which cool. was the, some sort of desert uh, bar set, like right. a sort of from Star Wars, that kind of set. Yeah. And then another set was, you know, the bridge. Wow. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> You're wandering wow. And then, the and then the, the set that we were on was in the observation thing or whatever, and so there was a space loop which was actual a film projector you know 40 feet away projecting onto a screen a Jeez. so that wasn't green screen that no, was right, like right, right. really projecting behind right, us the right. whole time yeah right. so and how many Fantastic. once it was go time how many takes did it take to do so human how many well, takes? Well, let's back it up everybody wow. nice to you along the way everybody you, you having <laughs> oh yeah shatner was super nice everyone was super nice it was a very uh stressful uh stressful part because we had mm-hmm. Two twin babies, and they each could only be on the set for what twenty minutes, or right? Something. In your scene, so, so how many people are so in our, your our, scene? So our, I would say our scene was a lot more stressful than the scenes that had gone before, where they were like, you know, oh, what about this? What about that? Because you had babies. It was it was high pressure, wow. and it was full of camera movement. So there was, you know, the camera had to start here, had to go up to the baby being born, had to come all the way down, follow the baby, had to come up to me, and then Leonard steps behind me. Right, because he walks into his... Steps in behind me, and and he witnesses it right over my shoulder. And so I did get to meet him, and I got to shake his gigantic hand. Nice, nice. Yes, very nice man. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, uh, you know, I would say we shot for probably... One or two hours. Wow. And that's it. And, that's and, it. and um, John Simpson is wrapped, everyone. John Simpson wrapped. Thank you for having and me. And like, what about now uh, you've shot it, the film's done, and right. then there's the premiere. Did you get to go to the yeah, premiere? Yeah, the coolest thing about the premiere was, uh, first of all, it's if you look at the, that movie, it has a tiny cast. Mm-hmm. There's hardly anybody in it, right. really. Um, and so when I got there, I realized that a good buddy of mine, George Murdoch, who had played played Scanlan and Barty Miller hmm. was okay. also in the movie so, playing God. Oh, okay. so we get there. Oh, God, what so, a notion! <laughs> yeah, so Marie and I get there, and then there's George. We had just done Moon Children with him oh, at that. Friends in Ours That's Theater. Crazy. So okay. we got, hey George, how are you? What are you doing he's here? And he's like, too. I'm in the movie. Wait, so that, I mean, considering how small a cast, that was crazy. That yeah. he and I. What were where was premiere? Was it at the Chinese Theater? The premiere? No, no, no. This wasn't the premiere. This, this was, was like the cast and crew, and crew oh, thing. Gotcha. On Paramount mm-hmm. Lot or just? No, it was at some some place on Wilshire, as I recall. So Shatner, nice. Everybody, nice. Wonderful. Everybody's nice. The film All right, comes so out. The, the film, film comes, comes out. out. If I remember, it's not the biggest hit. Can I just say the yeah. shocking part, sh- most shocking part yeah. about the film yeah. was, I, you know, whenever you do anything, you expect to be in this little tiny little crawl at the very end. Right. And as the credits went by, because it was so small, I got my own card. Woo! So just my oh, name nice. went across, and I was like, oh my God. That's pretty, must be that. pretty exciting. So yes. there's, I feel like I have a lot more to discuss, and we only have about a minute uh, okay. left to go. But let's, do we, should we do another one with John? Okay, well, let's finish this one yeah. okay. first. And let me just say, uh, okay, so what does it feel like to be a part of that Star Trek canon? It's very cool. You know, I'm I'm very proud that I I was in something that was with the original cast. Oh, that's great. Right. You that know, is really great. Which they call T O S. Yeah, right. The right, original, right. The original series. series. Right. Right. Um, right. Right. No, I mean, it was I wasn't in the original series, but the original series cast. Right. Right. So, uh, so in, that's pretty uh, you cool. You weren't in Deep Dish Pie. Uh, I no. mean, Deep Space Nine. Right? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> so and so now I go to the conventions every two oh. or three years. Yeah. And I sit down, and, and the people that are at the conventions are just the greatest people of all. I, I've made a lot of lifetime uh, Facebook buddies and friends. Because at the, the conventions, conventions, they know you. They yeah, know they you, come they back, and I know them, too. Is there one coming up, and will you be going to? Yes. Uh, th- there's always one coming up in mm-hmm. August. In, What's the one you in, go to? I always go to the August. And where is it? Vegas. You're in Vegas? Here in Vegas. At what Vegas? hotel? It's at the Rio. Well, you know, we're going to plug that on this website. I think we've got it all done. Yeah, okay, in fact. And also, you're a photographer. You make your living yes, as a photographer. As a photographer. Yes. 
you're ready to act at any moment. But and, and can we can the the people go to your website or johnsimpson.com? No H and John, of course. Mm-hmm. J O N so Simpson.com. Yes. So johnsimpson.com. They can find information about you. They can we'll we'll put everything you. up on this link. Johnny Simpson. John, thank you uh, for thank being you so on the much. podcast. And for, and it, can, can I just say? Yes, if say we, it. If we, we have do, time. Go ahead. I do have a pile about a foot and a half tall of pictures of me as Sarek. Yes. <laughs> official pictures from Paramount Pictures. Yeah, I've heard of if it. you would like my autograph, I, you just shoot me an email and I'll send you a link. And, wow. and they can and, find you at John Simpson. And for only $20 each plus shipping and handling, I will send you That is picture. John Simpson. <laughs> John, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate it. And some of that stuff I have not heard from you before. Oh, well. And it's Do you really have some exciting music to bring to us out? I probably do. Yeah, if can I can just get the button... So this is Maynard Ferguson's Star Trek theme. John Simpson, thank you so John much. John Simpson, thank, you, thank you so much. And this is Magic Moments with, with the Fawn Brothers. Brothers. You can turn your phases back on. <laughs> <laughs>